Good morning, folks. We are entering a period of expected solar activity, and we're getting it. After days in sea flare range, we are starting to see some larger eruptions. High sea flare and CME present at the departing active region. Also, an incoming group still behind the limb offered the first M-class flare. Indeed, the sun is waking up, but its limb eruptions as the earth-facing spots are pitiful. The two main groupings have virtually no magnetic mixing and are not growing nearly fast enough to produce a flare watch. The departing limb popped another M flare a few moments ago as well. To quickly remind everyone, we've got Saturn, Mercury, Venus, and the Sun in the mix. That was enough to get the watch up, and it looks like once again it's a success. Also have a minor geocentricity with Jupiter and Mercury in opposition of Earth. Let's check in on yesterday's top alert. The solar wind took another jump up this morning with density and speed. And after some less unstable hours overnight, the magnetic storm is back. Hopefully this wanes away today with only auroras as the effect. We will need that to calm down so that we can direct our focus on the solar flares and any ionospheric disruptions and radio blackouts we may get from them throughout the day. Let's also note that yesterday's gamma burst turned into a triple shot. After another burst came in on the south, it was Ursa Major up north delivering the third. It's a sharp gamma uptick the last 36 hours. We are between coronal holes now, but barely. With the planets aligning, one watch period almost slides into another. Another seismic uptick should occur this week before the weekend. Right now, quakes are smaller and we're just focused on the volcano eruptions that keep popping up all across the world. Let's come to the United States where a moisture flow out of the Pacific is kicking up storm starters that will end up bringing misery across the country. Right now, this is the cause of the rain and flood potential in the desert and snow to the north. Meanwhile, in the east, that same gulf flow meets the convergence on shore and sends the bad weather to the east and the northeast. This has indeed been one diabolical winter, it's not done yet. We've got blizzard conditions on tap tonight, freezing rain, flood watches out west, all over the place. In Europe, the primary convergence is dipping south and indeed heading inland, and is housing a strong flow directly at the UK within the center of the pressure node. So, while the clouds keep following that convergence, we will also see clouds and precipitation heading into the center there. Down under, top watch from yesterday has indeed shifted east to New Zealand. Very strong convergence, with another one just to the west sweeping across southern Australia. Both should be easily visible with the cloud layer, along with the remaining tropical moisture in the north. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.